Yo, what up? It is your boy Alfreezy back with another episode of Taking It Easy with Alfreezy. And today's guest, we got a one big time entrepreneur out here in Phoenix or in Arizona in general. My man, Bryce. How you doing sir, today? Yes, sir, man. I'm doing excellent, man. I'm blessed, man. Thank you so much for having me on. It's a privilege and an honor to yeah, be I'm, with you today. I'm happy that you are here. I met you at the Heat Advisory event. Shout out to the Heat Advisory. Yes, sir. And from there, I tasted the strawberry one, the strawberry uh, margarita. Fire. And fire, Tell man. Me. Right there, I, yeah. I, right there, I knew. I was like, I got to get you on the podcast. <laughs> got to get yeah, you on. Man, thank you, man. Uh, it, it's it's a blessing to be able to come back. I mean, we've been working on a product for two years. Mm -hmm. And to finally be able to, you know, put things in motion. Um, we've tasted it throughout the two years. But to get in other people's hands, be able to chase, taste both flavors, you know, and do events like this. Now, you know, that's what, you know, you know, we're social creatures. So being in environments where we can socialize and, and kind of promote the product, man. And we, we love doing all types of events and meeting different types of people. Yes, sir. And what was the idea that came to your mind when you yeah. started Siptel? Like, how did it start? Yeah, so two years ago, um, I, so I played for the Los Angeles Rams uh, oh, okay. in the NFL for, for three years. And my second year when I was with them, um, wanted to find something that, you know, I could put myself in outside of football, mm -hmm. um, you know. And definitely the second year, you have time and you have the opportunities that you didn't have when you were growing up playing football in high school and college. So yeah, um, kind of started out as an idea, and it was a totally different idea. We wanted to do something in the glass, and it kind of evolved. And after just talking to different people, developed into a, a canned product. And um, slowly but surely, um, figuring out different things about the space, figuring out, like, oh, man, okay, we should do this, we should do that. Mm -hmm. And... and um, you know, growing the business with my team as, as well allowed us to come up with this final, you know, can cocktail, mm -hmm. sip tell, you know, every story begins with a drink. Mm. Um, and, and drinks are, and stories are shared with friends, kind of the theme around the, the, uh, the alcoholic beverage. And um, it's, it's been a blast, man. It's been fun. Um, about four months uh, post-production. Yeah. And um, we've seen a lot of success so far. And how was that transition outside of the NFL into doing sip tell? Yeah, uh, it, it's different. Um, you know, a lot of people kind of start, you know, doing things kind of after they're done playing. You know, I, I was doing this for two years while I was still, hmm. you know, playing with the Rams. So it would go to practice, come back, hop on a meeting, you know, you know, come, come from a game the next day, yeah. have a taste test. And so it's kind of, I was kind of doing both at, at, at the same time. And this past year is my first year, not, you know, with the team. So I was really able to dive fully into the business part of it and, and, um, been able to, to you know cultivate into what it is today um transition for sure definitely um you know different you know mm -hmm. but the same principles apply you know you know the discipline of waking up the discipline of going to practice is the same as the discipline of you know making sure you're, you're researching you're learning about the product exactly. um the, the same mentality applies just in a different way yeah um you know going to the alcohol space that so that transition seemed kind of easy just taking the the values you learned playing football and applied it to a sip tail yeah yeah 100 percent. and football's a team game and mm -hmm. And um, this business, you know, for us, you know, is a team. You know, I, yeah. we have a great team. So it, it's, it's the same type of mentality, man. Like, you know, everybody has to be on one accord. You know, you know, you only go as everybody else goes. So everybody has to be up to speed. So it's kind of both. And definitely football, I think, uh, prepared me. And it prepares a lot of people for uh, different aspects of, of life that they decided to venture in. So Yeah, for sure. And, I mean, you are working with a team. Uh, two other entrepreneurs helped found Siptel, correct? Yeah. So so my brother and um, my other uh, business partner I went to college and played football with, um, uh, my brother, you know, great. We all bring different things to the table. Yeah. Um, my brother, he great people person, man. Great, you know, at interacting, meeting people. Um, then our other business partner, Chuck, is, is great. His energy is amazing. It's captivating. And he has a, such a business mindset. I remember um, he had a, uh, a brand in college, you mm, know, and just okay. how he moved. I always told him, I said, man, you're going to be a rich man one day, man. Just yeah. the business mindset. So all of us bring um, different aspects to it and then just keep adding people to the team. we got another business partner here with me today. You know, Idris is mm -hmm. he's very, you know, detail oriented, uh, visionary and, and very creative. So making sure you, you know getting people on the team that you know shine and maybe other parts that you don't or mm -hmm. shine and bring up different uh, perspective to things that you know you can help grow as a business i think is always important and how has uh your relationship grown with your brother and your uh former teammate 
yeah. like through this process with Sitzel. Man, I mean, it's been beautiful, man. And, and I think the, the great thing about, you know, us is that, you know, we're not afraid to say, you know, that we disagree. We're mm-hmm. not, you know, none of us are yes men, but we know how to disagree in a fashion where it's not argumentative, right? And, and you know, we're not, you know, step on each other's toes. Yeah. And we're, we're okay with, you know, going against the grain if we think something, you know, maybe you know we shouldn't do or we should do and someone disagrees yeah you know we're able to voice that you know all of us and we have a very healthy space in the business between us and me and my brother all, we're always close uh grew up he's two years uh, older than me so mm-hmm. uh, kind of close in age always competing and to be able to do it with him man you know you can't be that and are you from out here are you from arizona yes sir chandler uh, man chandler okay yes sir yes sir so i went to chandler high school um, went to ASU for a little while okay. and then uh, suffered an injury. So I went to the East Coast of Virginia where mm. I met um, one of my other business partners, Chuck. Okay. And can you explain the lifestyle of Siptail? Yeah. So it's it's a high fashion, you know, um, highly high elevated luxury type of, you know, canned cocktail. Um, the, the theme is a cognac theme, mm-hmm. right? So cognac is definitely a luxurious drink. Yeah. So we wanted to bring a high fashion you know a uh, high luxury lifestyle to the alcohol space so yeah a lot of our aesthetics on our social medias and different aspects of that you know it's going to be um different you know high fashion you know suit and tie with a with a little bit of rebellious mm. um and definitely something that's captivating um aesthetically so we wanted to make sure that we had our personalities into the brand mm, okay and you know i think the biggest um the, the the biggest you know vibration and energy that you can produce is something of authenticity so whatever we did it was just so happy that we did alcohol we wanted to make it make sure that we were authentic mm-hmm. and you know explaining it um in that space so everything you see you know on the on the brand on, on it's, it's us mm-hmm. so we, we put you know our soul and our personalities right into the brand so it, it's, it's been a blast to do so and i mean on social media I mean, you guys don't have too many followers mm-hmm. yet. And how has that either helped you grow or how has it has it not helped you? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, kind of seeing it grow from what it what it has been is amazing. And, you know, meeting different people in different spaces, you know, mm-hmm. when they check the Instagram, but like, okay, you guys are a new company. But then when they taste it, like, man, this mm-hmm. tastes like y'all been y'all been in business for 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 10 years, yeah. 15 years. And it's like something that, you know, we love because, um, you know, everybody is, is, is skeptical at first, mm-hmm. you know, trying a new brand, you know, they're, they're just doing something like everybody else is doing. But yeah. uh, to be able to do something different and people see people's face when they see, man, this is a new brand. Like, this is way better than, you know, you know this, that, and the third. Yeah. And it's something like, okay, like, we got to go harder. And, um, you know, we never compare our chapter one to someone's chapter 20, mm, right? Like so that, yeah. so it's, it's about kind of just you know staying consistent and what we're doing you know seeing incremental growth mm-hmm. and just learning and, and and keep you know being eager for knowledge mm-hmm. about the space and you'll never get too satisfied with you know the ups you know never get too discouraged by the downs as well so yeah um you know like anything it takes time so you strive by strive yeah you'll be there soon I'll, man, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, man. See, I'll see you guys up there man, I, I, I love the journey man and it's not so much like oh we got to get to these numbers on instagram mm-hmm. we got to get to these numbers it's like man like every day like how can we get better in the journey of what we're doing yeah and it's i mean it's like if people mess with it then yeah. they'll follow you and if not then it's all good yeah man and it's organic too yeah, like it's exactly. organic growth um and we're only in you know one you know one market in stores which is arizona so yeah you know everybody that follows us you know loves us for us yeah exactly and so what is it 10 stores now in arizona yeah we just got three more uh yesterday oh okay yesterday well last week we we, we just stocked yesterday and, and a couple more other stores and we're in a few golf courses we're in a few mm. nightclubs as well kind of you know really feet on the ground um yeah. building up and, and doing numbers and making sure you know wherever we go in stores or wherever we go um in, in clubs or, or golf courses you know they see our face so they mm-hmm. know that you know we're not just hiring somebody just to go out and then sell a product man we're really on the ground yeah. you know running you know, and moving you know so you know the modern day franklin saints mm. and sure. and what is what made you get into the alcohol business yeah um well one of my friends i, I saw one of my uh friends from from high school actually you know he was kind of involved with it mm. and i thought it was his brand but he was just a, a brand ambassador i'm pretty sure and i kind of asked him you know how he went about it and 
and he kind of told me he said I went through my alumni network so started going through my alumni network and mm, you know he kind of got me into the right context and at first it was like okay yeah this would be fun to do and then you know after kind of you know watching the videos doing the licensing doing yeah. the doing the, the can design doing the brand uh, guideline strategy voice doing the formulation it's like something that you know I grow to love like you know this is it's, it's my baby it's our baby mm -hmm. it's something that you know it, 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 it hits the same you know as playing football you mm -hmm. know in a sense so yeah um you know it, it didn't start off like oh you know overwhelming love but now it's definitely got to that point yes sir and what separates Siptail from other canned beverages? What separates you guys? Well, um, we're, we're a real distilled spirit. Mm. Um, and, you know, the, the alcohol that we use is 192 proof. Mm -hmm. It's 7%. Yep. And a lot of other companies use artificial sugar, artificial flavoring. Yeah. Um, and they're also carbonated. Mm. But, you know, definitely with the artificial flavoring of sugar um, to get on on the can or to low sugar amount, you know, it's, 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 that's how you get headaches. That, that's, you know... Mm. It just has that weird aftertaste, yeah. Um, and then with the carbonation, you feel really bloated. So, you know, our, ours is, is is not carbonated. It's seven percent, so it's stronger than a, uh, like a white claw truly at exactly. like five four yeah. percent. And um, it's something that's very light too. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's it's real everything, all natural flavor ingredients, sugar that gives you a satisfying taste, you know, aftertaste, but as well as you know while you're drinking it too. And it's light enough to be able to enjoy you know at dinner light up to be able to join mm -hmm. the sun you know yeah. the golf course even whether you're on the pool so it's very versatile in that aspect and the flavors are matched so yes sir and which one's your favorite the lemon one Ooh. or the strawberry one see it's like choosing a kid man <laughs> see, see, I, I mean people always ask me that and it's like it's it's different circumstances for different days right so okay. if 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 i'm playing you know if i'm outside you know playing golf a little bit or you know, I may, I may go with the lemon sidecar, mm, you know. Okay. We, you know, we may go with the lemon sidecar. We call that the side chick. <laughs> and then, you know, if, if um, you know, I'm at dinner or I'm having, um, you know, I'm about to go out or something like that, yeah. you know, I'll go with the strawberry margarita. So So today's a cloudy, rainy day. Which one are you picking today? Oh, okay. I, I, well, I'm going to start off with the with the sexy red the strawberry <laughs> margarita. I'm going to start off with that. And then, you know, as the days go on, if I keep drinking, you know, I, I'll probably have, you know, more, more lemon sidecars than not. So, okay. But, but, you know, they both, they both, they both hit a little different in different ways. So, mm. um, that's a good part of it. Okay. I haven't had the lemon one yet. I only had the strawberry one, but I'll get the lemon one soon. Yeah, I got yeah, you. yeah, sir, man. Oh, man. And I had some in the car. I meant to bring it up, but I, well, after the, I got you. you. Go get you a few boxes for sure. And, uh, I mean, I peeped the bucket hat. Do you guys have merch as well? It's on the way. It is definitely on the way. These were kind of just the um, the inspos and, and kind of just the, the first round, just to see how we liked it, yeah. the mock-ups. Um, and then now, you know, I have a great company that does it. So now we're in the process of ordering mm -hmm. in bulk so we can be able to, you know, get it out to the streets. Yes, sir. I'm going to need that bucket hat once man, it comes out. I'm telling you, that's with the feather, man. Like, yeah. So. And then before we end this episode, I like to end with one thing. Yeah. It's words of motivation because yeah. there's always that one person out there that's scared to do something but never does it. Yeah. So what's your word of motivation for that one person out there? Yeah, man. I mean, whatever whatever you decide to do, I think, you know, um, you can't lose if you don't quit. And, and everything, everybody talks about discipline. Everybody talks about consistency, right? But um, the, the process of just starting and, and, and sticking to it through the, through the highs and lows, I think, is, is something very important. Um I think you got to go into anything if it's business wise, man. Like say mm. to yourself, you know, hey, in five years if I don't make money, I'm still willing to do this. Mm. And and once once that once that rock starts rolling, man, it, you know, it's the all it's it's always harder to push initially than once it start rolling, man. It just keeps going, and and you know, you don't have to love something the first time to be able to stick to it. You know, I didn't necessarily love alcohol space, but I grew to mm. love it, and it's just the you know willing and the want to be better and, and, and figure out more and want more for yourself and um, you can't do it alone either you have to have great people around you make sure you you have a great team and, and you know take a look around you and um, sometimes you may have to leave some people behind sometimes you know mm. they're you know where they're at energetically is not aligned with you and they may pull you down so being mm -hmm. aware of who you're around and making sure that you know 
you cultivate a nice uh, group of, of, of friends or you know team members and then just going off of that i knew that i said i was going to be the last question yeah. but how important is a support yeah. system no it is it, definitely important because we all have you know biases right you know we all have things you know we make a decision we're coming from our you know perspective you know we always think we're right mm -hmm. some to some standpoint and you know hearing other people's perspectives um it helps you keeps you in check a little bit mm -hmm. and, and it helps you you know move in a way of um you know as a group and, and it makes sure that you know someone you know you never get too high on the decisions you never get too low but i think what well, well, regardless of decision if it turns out great if it turns out bad you know if you have that support group it's easier to look at it you know analyze it for what it is and keep pushing so yes, it's sir. really important Sir, man, I thank you for coming. Man, no, thank you for having me. Man, man this has been another it. episode of Taking It Easy Without Freezy. Yes, sir. Shout out to my man for coming through. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.